Ever wondered about the incredible journey of aircraft evolution from primitive beginnings to the sleek machines of today? Join us for a captivating video as we delve into the unique world of the C-450 Coleopter, an experimental airplane with a beetle-like design that defies convention. Despite facing challenges and eventual abandonment, this aircraft remains a source of inspiration for creative minds in aviation. Ready to uncover the extraordinary secrets of the C-450 Coleopter? In the 1950s and 60s, French aerospace company Suet Aviation designed an interesting prototype airplane called the C-450. What made it different was its uncommon design – no wings. Instead, it took off and hovered using flaps and rotors. This design, known as the Coleopter or Beetle design, was aimed at increasing lift and decreasing drag by elimination of traditional wings. The task was not an easy one for the engineers at Suet Aviation, as they had to design a plane without wings that were regular. But they were intent on testing the envelope of aircraft engineering. In the process of developing the C-450, they were constantly forced to reconsider stability and control. They tried gyroscopes, computerized sensors, and fitted many flaps as well as control surfaces on the body of the airplane. Even though they were determined, controlling the airplane was still a major problem, especially in rough weather. Even though the process was challenging, engineers were driven by their desire to achieve something revolutionary and persistently sought for success. One of the other main problems was that noise and vibration were produced by rotors for lift generation. It was a major problem, not only for the pilots, but also for anyone in that plane. The team worked hard to perfect the design and reduce these problems, but it was evident that there were miles yet to go before a plane could be used in commercial aviation. Seward Aviation's engineers kept experimenting with the design of a C-450 Coleopter, since they were sure to encounter an entirely new and completely unexpected barrier. The lift-generating rotors were troublesome for pilots in their airplane and for passengers on board, too. The team devoted themselves to solving this problem, trying out all sorts of materials and designs in an effort to quiet the noise and smooth down vibrations. From new rotor materials to an original damping technique, step by step they tried it all out, but nothing seemed to have the effect they expected. This was not enough to deter the engineers who had already engaged in a fierce determination to make this plane a success. Hence, they kept on refining and tweaking the design. Nonetheless, they ended up acknowledging that it was impossible to overcome the noise and vibration problems, as well as other challenges associated with such planes. This finally led to the abandonment of the project. Hold on, because it is going to get even more interesting. Nevertheless, despite these hurdles, Suet Aviation Engineers have remained dedicated to this project, motivated by the desire for innovation and exploration beyond what is known in the industry of aviation. They were perfecting every hurdle while still refining the plane's design. However, even though the C-450 Coleopter project was eventually scrapped in favor of a more conventional approach to flying machines, the C-450 Coleopter differed from the conventional airplanes that use wings to generate lift and stability because it used flaps and rotors. And that's not all. But before we go on, make sure to subscribe and keep track of the newest trends in luxury. Lack of bird-like wings made this design more prone to wind, and it swung in the air at random. This also implied that the aircraft had to depend on non-wing control systems, such as gyros and mechanical sensors for stability. However, these were not sufficient. On the 25th of July, 1959, a team of engineers and pilots met at an isolated airfield in France to fly the C-450 Coleopter. They wanted to know how the plane would behave under different weather conditions, following which they could then determine whether it was ready for commercial use or not. The team had been preparing for this day over months, and everyone was eager to see the new plane in operation. You cannot imagine what happened next. The engineers waited anxiously on one side of the runway with their eyes fixed upon the very sleek and futuristic shape of the airplane that was accelerating. Then something happened. The C-450 Coleopter began to deviate from its trajectory, and pilots struggled once again for the control of it. I could see its rotors spinning madly and the plane rocking from side to side as it hurled towards a chasm at the end of that runway. For a second, it appeared that all would be well. 
we saw the plane flattening out as if its pilot was in charge. But at that very moment, without any warning, it dived forward in a nosedive. There was a horrible sound from beneath the craft when it hit the tarmac. Its body crumpling into small metal pieces, with some parts flying off after impact. The engineers and pilots stood looking at each other wordlessly for seconds before their shock subsided. The cylindrical wing of this new aircraft was an important element in its unique design. But on the day of the fatal crash, it also contributed to downfall. The cylindrical wing was created to generate lift and stability, but also generated a lot of turbulence and drag, which made the aircraft less efficient in flight. This was a challenge for the engineers to minimize drag and optimize wing design, which ultimately led to failure of this project. As the pilot approached the runway with the C-450 Coleopter, he encountered unexpected problems owing to a strong crosswind. The cylindrical wing, which was not intended to resist severe turbulence, began shaking and vibrating unpredictably under stormy circumstances. The pilot struggled to maintain control of the aircraft due to the increased drag of the wing and the turbulence making it extremely difficult for him or her to steady the plane. In his best efforts, the pilot was unable to avoid the turbulence for long, due to which he lost control of their C-450 Coleopter, veering him from its envisioned landing course and making it possible crash. Out of this disastrous result, cut out the brief but outstanding career of experimental C-450. Thus, the nearly disastrous catastrophe demonstrated that it was unsafe to pursue new aircraft designs and technology which had not been thoroughly proven. After a sad crash landing, investigators poured their hearts and souls into the wreckage of C-450 Coleopter aircraft to investigate what led to this ill-fated machine to turn murderous. They found that the bizarre cylindrical wing contributed immensely to a dreadful outcome. Despite the promise, this design promised throughout its development span, it was unable to withstand environmental forces unbeknownst at onset and condition experienced during flight. This project eventually had an untimely conclusion, yet it was generally accepted by experts that a mechanical failure or defect in the wing's engineering and design is most probably as cause of disaster, although unknown specific details were uncovered. For whatever reason, it was clear that the experimental C-450 Coleopter could not make either its planned flights or generate any revenue justifying development alternatives to be sought. The C-450 Coleopter serves as a testament to the fact and the danger one can get into by trying something different. Its history remains an interesting specimen of creative thought and aircraft generation. The data gotten from such experiences have been helpful in laying down grounds for future aircraft designs, and the search on better ways of flying is ongoing. Though the C-450 Coleopter did not operate commercially, it will leave its impact on aviation for more than 100 years. This Earth-based disaster proved to be a good learning experience for the aviation group because it emphasized that aircraft design is an evolutionary affair.